Okay, today is the big day. I have been thinking about this for about four years at least. And when I first thought about getting a sleeve tattoo, in my head I was like, oh my God, it's a sleeve tattoo, it's too big. And then, but something in the back of my head, my intuition or some part of myself, maybe my future self, just told me, it told me that it was a good thing to do. It told me it was the next step forward in becoming me. Because how I see tattoos, I have a couple of them now, three or four, is that they are some physical pain that put you through something and you're a new person after. So I've always gotten tattoos and I'm going through something personal and I wanna level up to the next level. That's the story of the one on my side, the story of the one on my wrist, and the story of the one on my back. I know that a sleeve tattoo is gonna be a bit of a, a bit off-putting for some people. It's a visible tattoo. Now these days it's not so bad, but still I fully accept some people might not wanna hire me for work, some people might not understand, maybe family members, maybe friends. But for me, I just feel like it's the right move. And the, the future I wanna to go towards, the future of YouTube and vlogging and expressing myself is totally cool with it. You get a face tattoo and it's still totally fine. And self-expression and being different are the two most important things I've learned in life, especially in the past few years. And I wanna reinforce that. One thing I've learned through vlogging is some people don't like it when you meet them for the first time and go like this with the camera in their face. It's a bit off-putting. So I don't know this artist, he's a super cool guy it seems, but I don't wanna jam a, a, a big camera in his face in the first day. I'll bring my phone, we'll film a bit behind the scenes, uh, but I'm assuming as I meet this guy, we'll be able to get a bit more personal with it. And maybe bring the camera. Ooh. Very soon, we're never gonna see that shoulder again. sessions to do the sleeve that was like what four hours or so like four hours this is right well cool guy uh yeah so i wait we wait like two weeks see what happens with the healing and then we'll come back so here i am shaving my elbow and my armpit because we're gonna tattoo all up in there today we're gonna bring it down to right about there and I've never had the sensation of shaving my armpit or my elbow before. It's the first. I gotta say, armpit feels like a porcupine's living inside. It's kind of prickly. Put the place up. session four. This, we started this in January, man. It's been almost like two months now. So this is our development so far. This is one of the two plans for today. We're doing another piece on the elbow. I want to show you guys some of the needles because there's three needles we're using to make these tattoos. I thought when I first got here that there was going to be a giant autoclave machine that was going to sterilize the needles because they're reused, but I guess that's how they used to do it. Now all the needles come packaged, individual packaged, and you use them once and you toss them. And we're using three, so we're using one to do thin lines, one to do thick lines, and one to shade. And each one is a series, it's a little bundle of, the thin one's three needles, the thick one's five, 11, 11 and the shade is 13. I'll sh I got this sweet macro lens, I'll show you. All right, oh man. Okay, so this is the thick line, right? Uh-huh. So here on the left is thick line, 11 needles, and on the right is the three needle thin lines. Okay, and the third needle are shaders. So it's 13 needles, all side by side by side, and that's to make shade. Thick, shader, thin lines are already machine. Tiny, look at that. Put in perspective, so these were made with the thin line needle, so the three bundled together. Up here, 
those lines here were the thick lines and the shader did, you can see between the flower of life and the mandala, there is a shade. That's from the 11 needles, all 13 needles all lined up side by side. That one sucks. Drag it across like a paintbrush. Keep the street dirt off it when we're walking home. Only for about an hour. So today we got that one, we got that one, a little bit of blood still, and you unwrap it and then you take some light, skin friendly, sensitive people shampoo. And you wash it off in the shower and then you put some, I was recommended, blue lubiderm, basically. Soap and lotion that's unscented and pretty good for sensitive skin. It is the day of the fifth appointment. We had to put it off, put it off, put it off because it turns out you can't have a tattoo and then go scuba diving because it'll also get infected. So I've had to put it off a couple times and now I'm back and we're gonna to go to the fifth appointment today. You can see that we've done the front of the forearm, the top of the arm's finished, it's just the back of the forearm we've gotta finish. And you can still see the two scars from Cambo. So I should feel this almost immediately and as soon as my skin. both sides are put in, I have to run to the water and wash it out and I should be very, very, very sick. You also can't tattoo over fresh scars. So there's a few reasons we had to put it off. It's been almost two months. And after I shave my arm again, which is something still I'm not getting used to, we will have the last tattoo. I gotta say I'm excited. It's like completing and it's like completing the circle. Hopefully we'll finish it today. It seems like there's a lot left. But we'll see. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. Oh my god, you look, look like that. that girl. No, I don't. Oh yeah. Shut up. I have more hair than you. No like, way. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like I'm a swimmer. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is going to be all tattoo in six hours. What do you think? Awesome. Awesome. Finally. Any final words? Any final words? Clean this, friends. <laughs> final words are clean the sink. Because <laughs> it's gross. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. Here we go. Session five. Let's do it. It is 2.30 a.m. We have just finished session five. I am wrapped up. And I'll show you in the morning when I wake up. It's, it's a big surprise. I can't take off the plastic right now. I missed, we missed, I missed showing you the excitement because we were too stoked about taking photos. It is finished. Take a look. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that it's not exactly brand new. It is now November and it got finished in May. However, you can see it is now fully healed and I am extremely happy with the work Raul Westje 
did for the tattoo. So at the end of the video, I wanna talk a bit about why I got it, the symbolism behind it, and why I think tattoos are awesome. So I chose these strange patterns and designs. And if you're into living a spiritual life in any way, you realize it's sacred geometry. And I wanted to get a travel tattoo and I didn't want to get a map or a compass or an airplane. I wanted to get something different and something that was a bit more global, a bit more encompassing about how I feel about travel. And I settled with sacred geometry because I feel like the concept of it is extremely beautiful. That no matter what we are on this planet, if we're a YouTuber, if whether it's a snail, if we're a tree, we're all built on the same building blocks. And a lot of these symbols were found on the walls of a lot of ancient civilizations that had no way to communicate with each other. So these ideas, the ideas behind sacred geometry popped up in many places before the world was whole. Those are the ideas that I feel bring us all together. And the more that I travel, the more I realize that, hey, we're all not that different. You're born thinking that someone in China is very, very different than someone in, in the United States. And language helps build that wall, but the more you travel, the more you start breaking down that language barrier. And also the cultural barrier, you realize that it doesn't matter where you're from. We all have the same needs and wants and we're all human beings that want to be loved and accepted and appreciated and need food and water and everything else. So the idea of this tattoo is to symbolize how we're all built together. Um, we're all from the same building blocks and no matter where you're from, we're all human beings. We go through the same stuff. I love the process of tattooing a lot because you want something which is a design on your body. But to get there, you have to put yourself through a lot of pain. And I feel like it's a great symbol for how you can achieve things in your life. If you're not afraid to go through the pain, you can have really whatever you want. And so whenever I get these tattoos, it's usually when I'm going through something powerful in my life. And I want a, 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 a trial. Uh, to be able to get through it and to help process the change that I want. I think a rite of passage is a very important thing and I think going through the pain and the process of getting a tattoo helps you get to where you want to be. And so that's why I've got four or five right now. So what do you think? Are you guys thinking about getting a sleeve tattoo? Do you have any tattoos? What is your idea behind tattoos? Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're unnecessary? Do you think they're a waste of space on your skin? Let me know and let's chat about it below. The motto here is experiences over possessions and that's how we like to live our lives on this channel. If you agree with that then press like, subscribe, whatever you'd like and support us because we're here to change the world. On that note I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Peace. Don't have to. <laughs>